Hi, I'm Jackie and I made an art book. Wow, so cool. How'd you make an art book? Did you go to a publisher? What'd you do? I'm gonna tell you. I've been wanting to make an art book for a while, for like years now. And I always say to myself, oh, I'll make it next year when I have more art. I don't have enough stuff to fill a book. I'll have pieces next year that I'm much more happier with and I'll be better next year. But then you think that every single year and you never make an art book. So I finally just bit the bullet. I'm just gonna do it because there's no time like the present. So if you're thinking about making an art book, honestly, just throw it together. You don't have to make a lot of copies. You don't have to make hundreds and hundreds of books. Just make a few because it's really cool to just have your art book in like a physical format. So I'm gonna walk you through my entire process from start to finish, how I made this art book and all the struggles and trials and turbulation, stipulation, trials that come with it. So how do you start making an art book? Okay, first step is looking at inspiration. I love collecting art books from independent artists and supporting the artists I love. And so I took a lot of inspiration from the existing books on my bookshelves. I was looking at how they did the cover, how they did a wrap around the spine, the thickness of their pages, the texture of their covers, and also how they did like the copywriting inside their book. So after looking at a lot of inspiration, I decided I wanted an eight and a half by eight and a half size soft cover book and with that i go to the next phase which is starting <laughs> so i start by gathering all my pieces together in one folder just a place so i can really start getting an idea of what i want or might not want in the art book what i'm choosing pieces to put in i'm looking in is it too vibrant to be printed a lot of my pieces are way too vibrant and no matter how much i play with the colors it's still gonna be too vibrant. I also looked at aspect ratio. A lot of my pieces are square and some of them are portrait. So those fit really well into the square format book that I'm looking for. I also wanted to find a balance between like full illustrations and sketches, just so my book has like a wide range of different varieties of artwork. So printing. Printing was so difficult to find a printer. It took forever. I was like emailing companies overseas. I was emailing companies locally. So my criteria was affordability, quality, and customer service. I wanted the books to be as low cost as possible because I'm self-publishing. I'm paying all of this out of pocket. I wanted high quality. I wanted to match the books on my bookshelves. I wanted people to be impressed with what my book feels and looks like. And I wanted good customer service. If something goes wrong, I need someone to help me and get it fixed. <laughs> so I found a lot of quotes. Some were really high. Some of them were like, adding embellishments, making them look cooler, but it was also just out of my budget. I was estimating that I wanted around 100 books to print. That was kind of my idea of how many I could possibly sell in a year. So amongst all my searching, I finally came across the website Mixam. The website was super user-friendly and I found a lot of like YouTube reviews of the quality and it looked pretty good. So I ordered the paper samples and after looking through the samples, I saw that they also printed the Etherington Brothers' How to Think When You Draw. And I love those books and the quality is great. That was also just like telling me that this was the company I had to go with. So I found a quote and it was honestly the cheapest quote out of all the websites I, I could find. So I entered in my specifications and they give me a template. So now I can start formatting my book. Before I start looking at my inside pages, I am so excited about the cover. I start with that right away. No, I want this mermaid piece to be in my cover. I'm also putting some titles together for my book. I want something cool and vibrant, a word that really encompasses the whole entire feelings of my book. I spent a lot of time Googling words and downloading fonts and throwing together a lot of options of what might look cool on the cover page, but I can't think of something. I put that on the back burner because you get terminal vision and you need to step back sometimes. And because the original mermaid illustration is just a square, I have to extend it so it wraps around the full cover, the front and back and the spine. Going in and I'm extending the background, I'm adding fish and I'm making it a full widescreen illustration. And then I'm able to kind of put the words in the spot that I want it to go. I go on my Instagram and I make a poll for my close friends on which words will sound the best on this cover. And then after getting some responses, I finally decide on my gut and I go with allure. 
I feel like it really encompasses not only the cover of the book, but also like the inside pages. It's kind of like mysterious, it's sexy. I think it, I think it does the job. Next, I'm starting to throw pieces together for my inside pages. I'm putting a bunch of images on my template and I'm kind of trying to mix and match what two pages look good together. I want an interesting contrast. I want the colors to work nicely together. I want the images to balance nicely together so they're both not competing for the audience's attention. I also have to expand the drawings so they pass through the bleed. You need to have like image past that so then it won't just have a harsh white line when you cut. So for a lot of drawings, I had to manually draw the extension of the image. It took a long time, but it's worth it because it, it's way better. So I put all of these pages together and then I export the PDFs and I go through like a lot of phases of this to make sure that everything looks right. And I start uploading it through the website. I check the digital proof to make sure that everything Thing looks good and I have some issues here and there with the cover spread but once I make a few phone calls customer service was really good because you just have to do like math to figure out the spine bleed in addition to the side bleeds I'm not very good at math so it was just a nightmare for me <laughs> but they figured it out for me so I didn't have to thank god then I go ahead and I get one proof done and I don't want to do my entire bulk right off the start because if something's wrong then your whole batch is wrong so I'd rather spend a hundred dollars on one book just to make sure everything's good and there's nothing wrong with it so I can fix it before I do the bulk order. Finally I get my proof in the mail and it is beautiful. The satin cover is so nice. The colors are really vibrant. It's a little thin so I want to add some more pages and I want to also thicken the cover. And there's also things like my inside copyright page font is really big. I also want to add like a bio at the end of the book. I think that'll fill the space up nicely. And some places my signature is just way too big. So I take some of my signatures out or I shrink them. So once I add like eight more pages to my book, I put it back in the website. I go through my proof again and everything looks good. I am terrified, but I go in and I put an order for 150 because I'm like, man, I've worked so hard. I'm not gonna print 100, let's do 150, why not? <laughs> so after weeks of waiting, I get three huge boxes in the mail and I am on this, the tip of my seat. I am on the edge of my breath and I finally get the books and they all look great. And I'm so excited. I start taking photos of my book. I start putting together a mock-up for my website. And once I put it all up on my website and get the specifications, I have to figure out the shipping. So I find out my shipping prices to Canada, US and international. Put it on my website and I put together a promotion for my launch. Finally, it is up on my Instagram and I'm so excited. The first day I get like 50 orders. And I sell out in like a month. I only have like the copy I have left for myself that I kept. It was just like an amazing experience. I, I can't believe so many people actually wanted my art book. So I signed all of them and I shipped them all. It was very difficult to ship 150 books, but you know, I persevered. So now I have to do another print and reprint it for Fan Expo and Lightbox coming up. And if you're going to Lightbox, that's how I made this art book. Honestly, in a couple years, I can't wait to make a second volume. So if you're thinking about making an art book, just do it. Who's gonna stop you? So thanks so much for watching and leave a comment below of what you think of this, of this thing right here. Also, I have a Patreon where I post tutorials and behind the scenes of my artwork. So if you're interested in something like that, feel free to join us in a little community. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.